just I guess just after one, the cops came up, and they were trying to take uh, away because um, they figured something was wrong with him or his room. I don't know, but they argued with him for hours, and they wouldn't let any of us out of our rooms. Anybody that was past a certain door, the doors that, that went on the oh other side, they were, you weren't allowed to leave your room. So every everybody know. sort of in that end? The end, yeah, yeah, that's right. Up yeah. on five? They pretty well held us ransom, that's what oh, they well. did. So what, whose staff were working? Which staff were working oh, at the Oh, uh, Patrick was on. Patrick was talking to him in the hallway. How many police Patrick do you think were involved? Oh, uh, seven or eight. Seven or eight. Any SWAT? Thanks. Uh, I never saw SWAT was okay. They tied the door shut. With a with a rope, they the the, the, they tied the door shut on in the hallway, so anybody couldn't go through oh, or you couldn't go out. Was there a mental oh, health team right there? Was Vicott there? The mental health team. He's with Act. Act. Yeah, yeah. In your own opinion, do you think they needed support? They were having a freak out or something? Or? No, they no. Could just talked to him. Okay, there. Thank and you. Got dealt with the situation. But he talked to them for hours. Means that he definitely was in control of the or the conversation. Oh, anyway, I was in my room and they knocked on my door and evacuated me. From this door to that wall down there, anyone in that area was evacuated. But yeah, I woke up to like there being like six cops pounding on my door telling me I had to get out. Yeah. Because there was a safety risk and all was oh, oh. I know, right? And how long did that go on for? I heard it was like It went hours. from 11 till 3, so 4 yeah. hours. I saw maybe two mental health workers. What it was is on Friday or Saturday, um, the resident had told a staff member he was feeling suicidal yep and it took all the way until today to actually take some action and get someone here to help the, the tenant and it took this long to get someone here yep. and with the resident having mental health issues yep. um when you bombard a, a, someone with schizophrenia for example with officers with with guns and Anymore. this person this and you are you're a person who already doesn't like police right okay. and you're already a person that doesn't like police and you're bombarded with 20 police and you're not allowed to if, if you come out you're going you're getting arrested and going to the hospital no matter what like well, that's not going to work. They're going to they're gonna resist even more. Yeah. Like, they should have, like, if anyone should have been, if anyone would have gotten him out, yeah. and without all this issue, it would have been easier doing it by having a resident, like a neighbor like myself, or one of the other neighbors in the area, or as, or as a significant other, coming to get him, coming and talking to him, and the fact that the police lied and said they had his significant other on the phone, but he decided to step out of the room and come talk to her, was a, which he already knew was a lie. And if it was such a safety risk, then why was he moved into the building in the first place? What this building is about is housing the hard to house, okay? I've been in, I've been this person's neighbor since August. Yeah. If, I was, if I feared for my safety, do you think I'd be living here still? No, yeah. there's maybe, Every other room has maybe two. Were you worried for his safety, for his safety? I, I was more worried for him and what yeah. he might do to yeah. himself because of how many police were out here. Right, so before the police came, were you I was worried? Still, I was asleep. So Like, he seemed you know, fine on Sunday and Monday. And has he had bad experiences in the past with yeah. police? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's every, every other, like, he'll, he'll be gone for like a month or whatever, yeah. and then he'll come back and... I'll know he's back by seeing the little extension cord running to his room or something, right? And I'll knock on his door and see how he's doing and give him a smoke. Yep. If I feel I'm getting frustrated or something, I'll give him a smoke. So there's no light in his room? No, he's yeah. torn it all out. But, yeah. um, if, um, I've, got, I've backed him down from getting into, like, harming people before and stuff, right? And you guys help each other a lot, it seems that way. Yeah. 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 And, like, and it's like, I'm not, he doesn't scare me, yeah. right? I do whatever I can help him. Like yeah. Every couple of weeks, right? He'll um, like every week or two or whatever is when there's like I'll open my door and there's like fucking twelve cops outside my door. Yeah. Right. And it's freaking stupid. Yeah.
and then tying the door shut with ropes here so you couldn't get it. So you couldn't Yeah, they, they taped, they completely taped <coughs> off the whole area. And they tied like the door from shut. that wall to the door, coming from, like the glass doors with, by the elevators. Yeah. They, from that, they tied it to that door, to that beam. Like ropes. I mean, uh, police tape. Yeah, police tape. Yeah. yeah. So how did you feel? Why were you triggered by the walking in your room? So they kept you. They wouldn't let you leave your room. You they wouldn't let me leave the room. They tied the doors shut so that we can leave off the floor. And the doors, they have a set of doors at the end of this hall, yep. and they tied them shut. And they stood out in the hallway and said, "None of you guys are allowed to leave, and you have to go back to your room." And eventually Patrick came up hours and hours later and said, I'll, I'll take you down the stairway. But not that was until like three, four hours later. How did that feel? I felt, I, I felt like I was being held captive in my room because I, I'm going to go down and get breakfast. At that point in time, the cops were really out standing out in the hallway. See, so I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't do anything. And I was, you know, I was stressing out because I don't like being locked up in my room, being yeah. forced to stay somewhere. That if I want to leave, I want to walk out. I yeah. it should have that choice. Yeah. Not because because they're taking a situation and blowing it out of proportion. You talked about really trauma, like right? Yeah. You talked about trauma. Yeah. Dr. Gabor Manti talks about trauma informed, yeah. right? Yeah. It makes it more trigger. Yeah, so my dad started locking me up when I was real young. Yeah. yeah. Like I was a little, 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 little kid. So, you know, imagine energy. that. Yeah. yeah. It's not good. Yeah. And it can be triggering. We can heal, but it still affects oh, yeah. us. It makes me feel like you guys are in a jail the way you're told to go back to your rooms. Isn't it? Yeah. Like jail yeah, yeah. I said, oh, what, we little kids and you're, you're unlawfully confining us in our rooms, you know, <laughs> you know, and they all still were leaning up against the, against the walls and, you know, like over excessive force for no reason. They could have got somebody to go talk to him and resolve that situation yeah. even way before they even, even went there. Yeah. Just by saying, yeah, hey. You're not the only person who said that too. A lot of yeah. people have said that. And he's not a bad guy, but yeah. you know, I think he's just bored and needs attention. Sometimes that's what it is. He's, he's, he had his girlfriend over, and I think he was more worried about her approval of, of the situation, and he felt bad because he didn't have everything together for her. And that's basically, I think that's where the stress started with him. And then how many hours, how many cops, a lot of cops, it sounds like. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I got, I, I seen uh, just in the hallway here, there was three or four of them leaning against the wall. There was six, was six on the other side of the wall, yeah. other side of the door that they, that they conveniently tied up. They wanted to, to chain the door up so we couldn't actually access, because past that door is his door. Yeah. So they, they tied it up. And I, that's like, yeah. you know, I felt trapped. Yeah. You know, I wanted to leave. I wanted to, you know, get out of here. I was, you know, I, I just finished doing hours in there, in my room. Okay, so, uh, so the big PD asked you for your help for what? They, had, they wanted to get a rope off, off me if I had a rope so they can tie the door shut. Right, so that people couldn't leave. That's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. I went down to see the nurse because I've been having problems every day. Yeah. And she and I just threw like she's not in today. Yeah. I went up to fifth, and there she was standing there. What do you mean by who has to come together and stuff like? That? Well, like, like the, the us, the residents, and the people, the people that live in a country, in a nation. If we could all come together and yeah. stop and stop with this us and them, like yeah. include include the ones that are getting paid to be here you know some of them don't like what they have to do they don't like what they have to do with their job they quit their job or some go home crying like you know so if we could stand together and not not necessarily like push back but just say you know we're not going to take it anymore and change your ways you know that's it change change the way it is because it's not working for everybody and that's brilliant